We are in the midst of a poaching crisis. More than 100 elephants are killed every day by impoverished humans turned poachers trying to make a livelihood selling elephant ivory, meat, and body parts to wealthy buyers. But over five years ago, Chinese leadership banned the sale and purchase of ivory, more than halving the number of interested buyers in China in just a few years' time. How does China's stance on ivory continue to affect consumption and conservation? Hi, I'm Kyle Lieberman, nature contributor for the China Current, showing China's wild side. It's extremely rare to find ivory illegally for sale now in China. And according to the World Wildlife Fund, most of those who buy it illegally do so for artistic and gifting purposes. And this is primarily only about 8% of the population, termed the diehard buyers, who do so despite the law. However, recent media campaigns have also targeted these groups effectively, like a coordinated campaign by celebrity Ma Wei Du in WWF in 2020, which positively influenced three-fourths of 22 million diehard buyers to be disinclined to buy ivory in the future. Yet, in a newly released study published in Conservation Biology, researchers found that public opinion towards ivory is still complex. For example, in 2008, when the Convention for International Trade in Endangered Species allowed China to complete a controversial one-off purchase of stockpiled ivory in Africa, Chinese opinion surprisingly became more negative towards ivory. During that time, Chinese media also began to cover more anti-ivory smuggling news, perhaps driving this trend. But in 2016, when China banned domestic ivory, the researchers also found that by some metrics, public opinion became more positive towards elephant ivory. They believe that this is because the ban unintentionally drew more attention to ivory's perceived artistic and cultural value, driving interest and demand. But overall, the fact still remains that ivory consumption in China is drastically less than it used to be thanks to bans, media campaigns, and customs controls. This new research points to the complexity of affecting behavior change for conservation. And while efforts continue in Africa on the ground to prevent poaching, it's important to remember that poachers are often only motivated by an external source of demand. In order to reduce this demand, conservation groups, government, and the media will need to work closer together to positively drive change within the complex environment of public opinion and avoid any unintended outcomes.